Hi, in this video I will show you how to use modular snap plugin with a modular building kit like this one. In this example we will look at uh, the medieval uh, houses kit that I found online and you can download it for free. There is a link in the description but it also works as you will see with any kind of modular kit for houses and other things. So what is the modular snap system plugin and why how it is used? Uh, basically modular snap system plugin helps you to align uh, pieces and meshes in editor and this is especially useful for modular assets like the one we have here. Uh, for example we have those pieces of uh, wall, basement wall, foundation and uh, they are modular pieces, so they are made in a way to, to, to blend together, to match one another. So for that we, we need to align it, of course, them, of course. So we'll I will show it here, uh, for example, those two, and you align them, and you see, now it looks well it should align yeah now it looks like uh, one piece but uh, as you can see already this is a little bit difficult to do by hand sometimes and the plugin is here to help you exactly with that. So here's the interface of the plugin. And when now when you move uh, those pieces, this this part of the wall, it will align automatically. You see? It will snap. And then if you take this one, it will snap too. So you spend a lot less time uh, aligning things and you can concentrate on the art and interesting stuff like that. So, but for this of course you need to, to say the plugin uh, how the pieces are supposed to match to align because uh, by default the plugin doesn't know such things. And in this video I will show you exactly this, how to take a modular building kit and uh, uh, prepare it for you use with the plugin and then build some of those houses like, like, like those. So let's get started. First of all, I downloaded this <coughs> modular medieval building kit from the web. I found it on Reddit. Someone made it, posted it, so I took it. It comes like a folder with uh, FBX files and textures, so it's even not even a, a Unreal specific thing. And uh, so I imported those in, in Unreal. I <coughs> put textures into materials and then I laid them off here. Uh, let's see what we have. We have here uh, those two pieces that are basement foundation of the house, the corner and the wall. We have different walls, a straight wall with door and with window. We have a corner, also three variants, and we have an inner corner also with a door and with two windows. Then we have doors, door frames and doors and window frame and windows. Then we have the roof, all those. And then we have some other decorative pieces that I didn't use. Uh, so let's look 
how we start to pre prepare tools for use them with the plugin. Uh, here I already prepared those pieces as, as you could see they snap already but I have another folder with those pieces unprepared and I will start by this foundation wall because it's simple. Oh, that's the wall. It's only have one side and uh, first of all we check if it, ha it, it has a collision because it's important for the plugin that the meshes have collision otherwise it will not detect it. Collision is here. Okay and now we have to say the plugin how I want this mesh to connect with, uh, with other meshes where to snap. And uh, this is done uh, by using the standard in real feature called sockets. Uh, there is a in every static mesh you have this window, this tab, a socket manager. If you don't see it, you have to enable enable it here. And what we need to do is to create sockets, and those sockets will will tell the plugin this is the connection point. You can connect another uh, mesh here. Uh, so let's do it. It's easier to show. Let's create a socket, let's name it uh, base. And uh, <coughs> those names are important because uh, the plugin use the um, snaps only if the name matches. So by default, uh, when you create sockets, so they will, will, will be called like socket, socket 0, socket 1. And like that, those sockets will not match because the plugin requires that the first part, the prefix of the name, is the same. Okay. If I want it to match, I should call it base, but yeah, you cannot call two sockets right, with the same name, so call it base two. So that's important to remember. Now, wha where to put it? In this case, it's pretty actually pretty easy to understand wha where to put it. We don't have to think very much. You see, those pieces, those meshes, are supposed to align like so, seamlessly. So, this corner of the mesh should be exactly in the same place as the opposite corner. We will use this information and uh, put one socket here and the opposite socket here. Or we will use a vertex mode, choose the base socket and click here. Now another important thing is that the red arrow here, the, the forward vector, should look like so should go outside. It's not really that it should go outside, but it should look in front of each other in the world in order to snap. Let's try it. Now you see, we enable the plugin again. Ah, that is, those meshes are already prepared, so we We'll go here and take our new mesh. And hop, that's one. Enable the plugin. Plugin show you the sockets. And then, well, we duplicate it and drag it, it <coughs> snap automatically. Now, this thing about socket orientation. If I, uh, let's say, there's a parameter, there's an angle that uh, says it will I if it will snap or not. Here it's 100 degrees, by default it's 75. And uh, now if I turn it 90 degrees, as you can see, 
it will not snap anymore so that's important this direction and then we'll turn it a little bit it snap again and the other thing is this direction that is important is that it will align the direction so if I took this one and it rotated it a little bit kind of 45 degree of course it will also align like that and that we don't want so let's fix it again and now we have our basement wall that we can easily build and uh, also cal can use that on the multiple selections so I can take that and build that also now last thing that I would explain about those sockets is that we call it the two sockets base so as you can expect it will also match this way and this is not something we want in, in this case maybe in some case it's okay but in this case we want this piece of wall to match only like so and this is a pretty general thing in, in modular building you know. so we created a special feature for that in the in the socket name you can specify its polarity so simply you say this socket is has positive polarity you add a plus to a name and this one has a negative polarity and only sockets of opposite polarity or neutral without polarity they match so now look our wall here if I try it if I try to match it to snap it like that it, it won't and that help avoid unnecessary snapping when you have many things like so it works well that's it that you we, we that you we need to do for this basement piece now like let's take this one at the corner of the basement and let's do the same so like in the previous case we create two sockets we'll call them base plus and uh, base minus enable vertices snap base plus here rotate snap base minus here rotate I also make attention to, to put the Z axis and Z axis in the in the same direction it can be can be useful later it's not strictly mandatory and uh, save it and now I can build a little bit more of those you see now you remember I changed the angle here if I put it back to like a hundred degrees and it will work like so see it's kinda snap better but if you have too much sockets together in a, in a short distance so you can keep this angle to 75 or, or something low to avoid unnecessary false uh, snapping well, that's it
that's that's it for the for the basement part let's make another platform here per perhaps so we'll put our house basement on it and now let's look for the walls it's the same thing here they are we'll take a wall that it's not prepared yet which one is this one it's the most simple wall and we'll proceed the same way so check the collision there is one at socket this one we will call wall and not base and we directly create wall plus and wall minus we put as before wall plus is already correctly put I think yeah just we need to rotate it and wall minus should go on the other side so actually it should go here because that's the way those pieces of wall are connected the 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 little part of the next wall will go under this this pole we'll snap it here rotate chuck and i like to keep it this way save and as you can expect now we have our walls working now same thing for uh, for uh, let's do one corner here same thing for the corner as before Wall plus, rotate, wall minus, snap, rotate, and done. And now can build that those walls well next step is to combine the the foundation and the wall and this is a little bit more complicated because first we have to figure out how they are supposed to work so I will just take this one first and uh, try to align it. As you can see, those pieces have Exactly the same width. Yeah. Ah. So this piece of wood here and this piece of stone here have exactly the same width. So we can already know that we need to put the the connecting socket on the. We can start for the corner. But then there is another question how deep they should go. Yeah. 
it seems that should be like so the other things that we see now that exactly the corners that they match like before lower corner of this wall and upper right corner of this foundation they match so we will uh, use this property to create socket here and uh, yeah, we already have the wall socket in this corner so in order not to not to have two sockets in the same place this one we can put it a little bit higher and of course you do you have to do the same for the for the corner now let's create and we will call it uh, base uh, we already have base and base z base z uh, I don't know minus and uh, so the base is under we just turn it like so and we also put it here in the middle uh, on the basement we'll do the same base z plus rotate and put it in the middle like so and now if we take this one and this one As you can see, they should match, they should snap. But they don't. Why? It's just because I made a typo. You see, the name is very important. There's also an option in the in the socket para uh, in the plugin parameters to disable this this socket name match everything will match in this case. Well now we did this and uh, so on we have to add those base sockets on the corner too and then well we have to do this on all other pieces I will show you what it looks like when it is done let's take our finished product so here we have the corner then we have the this one this one then we'll take some this one for example is the door and then a wall and then let's say a corner with a window yeah. oh, we build this like so and we can also take those duplicate them put 
sido no no then oh yeah the same for us there that's the top part here we go that's our house now we have doors and uh, windows for those there is no really uh, like with the, the, the other pieces the, the corner too too much so let's look at one I already made it what I did here on the door frame I created a socket on the top called it door frame minus and it's going like so up and uh, on the on the wall there is a corresponding socket there it is door frame this one door frame plus so you have to match those in order to work you look how it work and you fix it and then once it's done it will snap there is a little trick you can use uh, let's say we already made the socket on the door frame and uh, you have a mesh with a door here without socket so first we will align those two manually I hope it's right no uh, that's no like so let's say then we can uh, from this socket know where the opposite socket should be and we do that using a little trick we put a empty actor on the scene change the mobility otherwise it will not work so they should have both the same mobility this one is static and this one should be static too then we attach it to I will just do alt alt a and attach it to the door frame the the socket door frame minus then you clear the 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 location of the transform of the actor and you see it exactly where the socket is then again we attach it to the wall this time and here you have the location of the socket you need to put onto the wall so you copy this copy this number this vector open the wall in the editor and add your door frame plus socket and paste the location here and now you have to rotate it correctly and that's it now this wall this door will, will snap we can also use a, a snap to grid uh, to align things better in the in the static mesh uh, editor but you have to make attention there's a bug 
snap to grid don't work in the in the perspective view you see even even if I have here a grid it will not snap to anything it only works if you have a if you are in a in a top or bottom orthographic view uh, as you can see in the orthographic view it works correctly snaps to grid so you can use this to to align stuff show you quickly we did that to all other pieces of wool so there are those walls I already prepared before you have sockets for windows frame you have sockets for door frame you have socket for uh, for the basement actually here it's called it wall Z minus and uh, yeah and you have the socket for the roof that I didn't yet sh shown and on the frames you have sockets for the for the door and for the wall and the door you have sockets for the or attach it let's build a, a little house again like this one We'll take the basement first. Okay, this one goes directly the other corner. Tuck. Then goes a wall. If I understand it correctly, another wall and another corner, Oop. and I suppose another wall. And uh, how much they are? Also, two. this one and this one again and here we have the two simple walls like so that's the basement and then we will put a uh, Corner with a door here. Corner with a window. Yeah. And then a inner corner. Yeah. Another window and uh, another window and now a normal wall. No, it's a wall with a window. lot of windows here and, uh, ah, that's it the normal one yeah. Oop, and again then we can put our 
doors and windows here and the door itself here it is here and the door as you can see there are two ways to put it Oops. we can also put it on the on the other side like so and same for the window and I believe that's it yeah so you've probably seen that on this mesh here for example or this wall here a better example there is the socket is called a door frame plus r r 180a those things mean something for the for the plugin first r 180 means that the the door frame can only be rotated in 180 increments around the 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 x axis like for example if i disable here the this and i rotated it a little bit you see it will snap back here it will not or here it will not snap in some other way by default meshes snaps in 90 degree increments but you can redefine that and the other parameter a underscore a means simply attach so by default those uh, those walls and basement we put they not attach it to each other to each other they just align it but if you put underscore a in this na name of the socket and uh, snap something to it this thing will be attached like this door frame is attached now you see if i move it door frame moves together this is also used for the door like you can see here it's called it rx 180a rx and r is the same thing it's rotate around x-axis you can also specify this for y and z axis so the door is also attached and it only can go in like so or like so cannot go the other way And then of course if you disable the plugin you can now rotate it a little bit and leave it like so it will not snap back automatically or another way to disable the plugin is to keep a special key press it because you can assign in the in the keyboard shortcut by default it's c so if you if you press c and hold c when you move or rotate things they will not snap and when you release it it will snap again so now the last part of the house is the is the roof so as you can see here already the socket for the for the roof that i put here roof z plus also in the center on the on this on this face and the uh, roof is composite of two pieces we use it that, that is the main roof that is the corner that's the inner corner and that is the the piece that goes like so in front So you can look just quickly like here for example you can see the 
roof uh, is connected by the same th same way as the other part they are roof plus on the right and roof minus on the left so they will connect to each other and that uh, there is a roof z minus here that connect to the wall there is an opposite socket on the wall and there is a rooftop socket here for the for the little beam that goes on the on the top of the roof same thing on the corner roof like so roof plus on the right roof minus on on the left uh, and the two connectors for the for the wall same thing here roof plus roof minus and rooftop and those are those beams that are connecting to the rooftop now let's look how it works we can took a piece of roof which is here and uh, connected then duplicate and here we need a corner 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 somewhere here yeah and then another piece of roof another roof another corner uh, not please and another corner and uh, this one okay you want to go here and this one again now there's an inner corner which is here and uh, a little bit more of the roof And finally, those two pieces, right and left. Okay. And left. Okay. And the last thing are those beams, which work like that at the end. I'm not sure I align it them exactly like the outer of the of the asset wanted but well, they that work too okay and here another one and that's it and I still have to add another windows that's basically our house and uh, that's the version of the plugin you can already download uh, buy and download on the marketplace and uh, for the next version that I uh, am working on now there is something something else something even more advanced that I did which I will show you right now so basically it works like a you know what to complete in a text editor so you can click on the name of the socket and it will propose you what is what can go here and to know that we first have to, to, to take those pieces we want to build from and create an object call it bundle there it is so you go like so you create this bundle add different 
actors you have here inside this bundle this is still work in progress so interface is not definitive you say to the to the plugin that it should use this bundle and then it will recognize it and when you click on the socket it will search inside the inside the bundles it knows of and it will suggest stuff it can find based on the name of the socket and also based on the on the surrounding that's why I also call it the complete because it will look what there is around so as you can see here for example the corners are on the top of this menu because we are on the corner so let's took this corner this is the door like before and then for the door frame there is our door frame and for the door we don't not don't even need to 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 select because there is no other choice but this door we have and here again it will choose corners first and for the frame, there is two kinds of frames. So let's say we want this one, windows. And so on. And that's as you can see is even faster. before of course you still can can use the the snapping like that so that's it thank you for watching and uh, check the description of the video for the links to the plugin on the marketplace and uh, to the modular medieval building asset and if you have any questions please uh, ask in the comments see you next time